Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In this episode, we're gonna be solving a physics 7c practice problem on the topic of mirrors. As usual, if you're finding this content helpful, please make sure to leave a like, it really helps our channel. So this is the problem that we are gonna be working on today. Gustavus stands 2.4 meters in front of a concave mirror of unknown focal length. The result is a real image of himself located four meters from the front of the mirror. Uh, and the first thing that we have to do is what is the radius of curvature of this concave mirror? Okay, so as you can see, I have all of my information over here. And then from the original PDF of the quiz, I also copied the equations that were provided. As usual, if you want to print the, uh, the actual PDF of the original quiz, uh, just go ahead and uh, click the link on the description. It's always right there so that you can print it out and then just try to solve this by yourselves. So let's just put, um, let's just work out our information. So Gustavus is standing 2.4 meters in front of a mirror. So that means that our O is 2.4 meters. Uh, we don't know F. And the result is a real image of himself located four meters from the front of the mirror. So our image is positive four meters like this because we are in front of a uh, concave mirror so it's positive and then we have to find r well let's see r is just two times f just by using this equation this, this relationship holds for all uh, circular mirrors which is two focal points is equal to the radius of curvature of the mirror so if I can find F, then all I have to do is multiply by two and that's it. So I'm just gonna use this equation. I'm just gonna straight up use this equation to find F, then multiply by two and then that's it. Okay. So one over F is equal one over I plus one over O. So one over F is equal to one over four plus one over 2.4. So whatever you want to solve this, whatever way works for you, that's fine. I have my own way. So times 4, 9.6 F. So 9.6 is equal to 2.4 F plus 4 F, go on denominators. So 9.6 is equal to um, 2.8 F. And then 9.6, oh, 9.6 divided by 2.4. Oh, this is not 2.8, this is, this is 6.04. Oh, and then F is equal to 1.5 meters. Uh, this is in point 0.4, this is just 4. So 4 plus 2.4 is equal to 6.4. And then if you divide these two, you get 1.5. And if this is 1.5, then that means that R is equal to 3 meters. I also like that we got a positive number because by instructions, this is concave and concave mirrors are always positive, so that is good reassurance that we did this right. Okay, so now for part B of the problem. I'm just gonna put it on the screen. Gustavus decides he wants to make a virtual image of himself that is the same size as the real image of himself that he makes while standing 2.4 meters away from the mirror. How far in front of the mirror should he stand to produce such an image? Okay, so basically, you know, Gustavus is producing a certain image at a certain height. We really don't know what the height is. But whatever that height is, he wants to produce that ex exact same height, except he wants it to be virtual this time. 
So the, the original image was real, but now he wants a virtual image that is the exact same height. But virtual. Okay. So basically, what? Oh, and basically, so like, where does he need to stand? Like, what's his new O position? All right, so if we look at the magnification equation, our magnification equation is HI over HO, right? Now, HO for Gustavus is always going to be the same because Gustavus is the person and you know his height. We don't know his height, but you know, it stays the same. He, his height is not going to change. So this number is going to stay the same. And he wants the same height, except he wants it on the virtual side. So he wants it negative this part. So essentially what Gustavus wants is same magnification Um, same magnification, but opposite sign. So whatever magnification we had over here on part A, he was the exact same number because he wants the same um, size of the image, except he wants it on the other side of the mirror, so he wants a different sign. So we need to find the magnification and then just work with that. So um, magnification for part A, let's just multiply. Uh, magnification is just negative I over O. So magnification is negative I, so negative four over O, 2.4. So the magnification for part A should have been uh, negative four divided by 2.4, negative 1.66. So basically the magnification that he wants now is for M to be positive 1.66. Okay, so this is what he wants. And now based on this, we have to figure out where he has to stand. So this 1.66 is equal to negative I over O like this and this basically gives us an equation right we can't really do anything about it because we don't have you know we're looking for o but we don't have i either so we're just gonna have to um suck it up and have it as an equation And then what I'm thinking we can do is use our other equation over here. And if we combine them, because we do know F, and F is gonna stay the same because it's the same mirror. So I'm thinking let's just use this other equation. And that way we are gonna be able to figure it out, I'm pretty sure. So let's just go ahead and do that. Let's see, so 1 over f is equal to 1 over i plus 1 over o. So 1 over 1.5 is equal to 1 over i plus 1 over o. At this point, let me just go ahead and say that at this point, you guys have two equations two variables. So you guys go ahead and pick how you want to solve this. Honestly, I'm just going to substitute over here because that just seems like the um, easiest thing to do. So if I want O, then I have to s substitute I, right? Yeah. So if I want this, then I need to, I need to take this away. So, okay. So substitution time. So if I combine 
these two equations, then 1 over 1.5 is equal to 1 over negative 1.660 plus 1 over O. And now we just have an O, so it's going to be pretty easy to solve for. So I'm just going to multiply everything times 1.5 times 1.66. That is 2.49. So this is going to be... Um, oh, sorry. So this is going to be 1.66 is equal to... Um, 1.5 negative O plus 2.49 actually these are O's so let's just go ahead and multiply times 2.49 O so that way we have O over here and then this doesn't exist yeah, let's just, let's just go ahead and do that. 1.660 is equal to negative 1.5 plus 2.49. So O is equal to negative 1.5 plus 2.49 divided 1 by 0.66. All right, so 2.49 minus 1.5 divided by 1.66. Final answer is O is equal to 0 0.59, and then these are all meters. Final answer, and then the quiz is over. So like I said, you know, once you have your two equations, you should be, you should be good to go. You should be able to solve this by yourself, you know, whatever. If you want to put this here, you want to put this here, you want to combine them, whatever you want to do, you know, that's kind of on you. Um, but what I like to do is always multiply times the common denominator. So this times this times this, uh, which gives me this. And then my O's on this side cancel out. The only O I have would be on this side. And then it's just a matter of solving. But again, if you have another method that's literally just algebra and um, you know, the expectation is that you should be able to very quickly solve this uh, very little system of equations. So this is the end of our problem. I hope that you guys found it useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. It really helps promote our channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.